request all of you to uh, maintain that reverence when we are there in the presence of the Lord. Until we begin our um, next part of our program, as the as the as the program leaders come forward, I would like to invite all of you to just meditate and contemplate um, and um, maintain. a bit silence when we are there in the presence of the lord thank you so much there in the choir to come forward and occupy the seats that are in front please all those who are singing in the choir all the choir members we are about to begin our program now all the choir members please come forward and occupy the seats that are in front of you please
Happy Sabbath, Church. And uh, now we will start the hymn uh, number uh, one, 109, eight, yes, 108, Joyful, Joyful. And I would like to ask... Amazing Grace. Okay, sorry. Amazing Grace. And I would like to ask you to stand up and uh, sing with us together. A blessed and happy Sabbath, a church. A blessed and joyful Sabbath, church. Amen. amen, amen. I was just looking at our choir right now. If we add 10 more members into this choir, we need a bigger church. I'm just saying, we're not thinking of selling the church, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> But we praise the Lord, we praise the Lord for the church that is in here, and today, such a special Sabbath, 
uh, to have our choir committing themselves to this ministry and dedicating uh, themselves uh, to the Lord. Now, it's been a while that uh, we did not have a choir, and so today is a day to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. And with that, of course, uh, I would like to say thank you to our children and music ministries, because this is one department, uh, children and music ministries, for the work that you are doing, and also for bringing Oksana into the uh, department uh, to lead in our uh, choir, and we praise uh, the Lord uh, for that. Now, we only have one uh, quick announcement uh, today, uh, that this afternoon we're going to have a continuation of our praise and worship today. Uh, if you were here in the Sabbath school, we had the children uh, with the lovely giftedness in uh, music. And if you were not here, uh, try to go back. Oh, we don't have that recorded, by the way. I'm sorry. So you missed that part if you were not here in the Sabbath school. Uh, but we had the children... Uh, sharing the uh, giftedness in music. And now in our main worship, uh, after my part, we will go straight into a number of uh, special items, all right, uh, from uh, the members of the choir and from the church as well. And then the last part would be uh, three songs uh, from the choir and also the uh, commitment and dedicatory uh, prayer for them. Uh, but I would like to invite you uh, to join us this afternoon for a continuation in our uh, praise and worship. We would have uh, hymns and praise uh, this afternoon. Uh, so if you're staying and joining us, uh, please prepare a favorite hymn and maybe a verse that can uh, uh, go with that hymn and maybe a short uh, testimony of a praise uh, as well. Uh, so we would do that immediately after our uh, lunch uh, today. So again, in the afternoon uh, today, we would have uh, hymns and a prize. Uh, just before we pray, let me share with you these uh, verses uh, from Psalm 100, uh, Psalm 100, verses 1 to 5. Make a joyful shout to the Lord, all your lands. Uh, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his guides with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Amen. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Our most gracious and loving Father in heaven, you alone is worthy of our praise. And so today, Father in heaven, as we fellowship and as we worship you in songs, as we raise our voices in praise and thanksgiving, we acknowledge your presence in our midst. Thank you that we have a God in heaven who has given us this beautiful gift of music, to edify each other, to uplift our souls, to raise our spirits to the heavenly blessing that we have in Jesus. And so today, Lord, we acknowledge your presence. Thank you for being with us and for blessing this praise and worship and this choir commitment and dedication today. For this we ask and pray in the lovely name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.
Uh, Happy Sabbath Church. Uh, The song I'm going to sing is a song that really helped me uh, sometime when things were not very okay with me. Uh, in in 2021, I lost my dear three parents in a month. My own father died on a Monday, it was in June. It was a sudden death. I was so pained and I cried. After five days, my mother-in-law passed away. Barely five days after burying my own father. And I cried. She was so dear to me and to my kids. And then seven days after, my father-in-law also died. It was so heavy. And sometimes you ask God, you ask yourself, is, is God really, is God still with me or has he forsaken me? But I, I, I found strength and courage from hymns and songs. And one of the songs that I'm going to sing really gave me strength through these difficult times.
merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who art have thought that Lamb could rescue the souls of men? Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Counselor, comforter, keeper, spirit will long to embrace. You offer hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost our way. Oh, hopelessly lost our way. You are the love that we praise. You are the one we adore. You give the healing and grace. Our hearts always hunger for. Oh, hearts always hunger for. Faithfully loving you Here in our weakness you find us Falling before you strong Oh, falling before you strong You are the one that we pray You give the healing and grace Our hearts always hungry for Oh, our hearts always hunger for You are the one that we praise You are the one we adore you give the healing and grace Our hearts always hunger for Oh, our hearts always hunger for Amen Martin, can you come to the front, please?
who's just sitting with you. Um, happy Sabbath. We're going to share a song uh, that's called Reason. And uh, this song means a lot to me. And I know for us as Christians, it means a lot because it tells us of Jesus. Why is he reason? And what caused his death? So his resurrection is hope for us. And his, uh, his resurrection shows us that we also can rise from whatever might be troubling us or keeping us down or keeping us away from him. And it's also a reminder, as I'm um, singing here with Martin, who will be joining me. As a child, I remember my mom um, used to sing with me as a child in church. Uh, at the time, we just joined the, the church and I was in a primary school then. And in, in Congo, where I come from, the church doesn't have, um, the school is until Saturday. So we didn't actually get to go to church until it was school holidays or maybe public holidays. So I always looked forward to singing together with my mom uh, in church back then as a child, especially during holidays. So it's something that I carry with me for my children too. And when I sing, I feel really very close to God. I feel blessed and I share that blessing with those around me. So it's my joy to share that with you today. And I hope that the story of resurrection of Jesus will resurrect whatever is dead in your life as well. Thank you. When darkness fell the sky, the day that Jesus died, in agony upon the bitter cross, they laid his body down and put it in the tomb. His friends believed that everything was lost. But when the third day came, the darkness turned to light. For Mary heard her name and saw the living cross risen to set the captives free. Forever change for hope was born when Jesus rose that day and so his wounded hands reveal the love he has for every fallen soul he came to save and he will come again and one by one will rise to praise his holy name and see the living cross risen to set the captives free or oh, he is risen to ransom you and me to bind up every broken heart to conquer 
Can we say amen to the uh, three special items that we have today? Amen. Tears are a language that God understands. Amen. Wonderful, merciful Savior. And a Savior who is risen today. I'd like to uh, request our AB team to please uh, play our stewardship video. And then after that, I would request our serving uh, deacons to receive our tithes and offerings. Thank you. Have you ever wondered about the purpose of, of returning tithes and, and promise, and promise regular and systematic offerings? Would we, would we be correct to say that the primary purpose for returning tithes and promise offerings is to advance the church's mission? Well, well Let's, Let's first, first differentiate between the use of tithes and offerings, which is, of course, to advance God's mission and the purpose that should move us to give them. Then there is another question. Which one is God willing to receive the most, tithes and offerings or our hearts? You are right. The Lord says, My son, give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. Character development is meant here. But why, but why then does he, does he ask us also to return our tithes and offerings? The truth is that our hearts always follow our resources. That is why Jesus said that wherever our treasure is, there your heart will be also. Ellen G. White says it in a, another way. This tithing system I saw would develop character and manifest the true state of the heart. Returning, returning tithes and offerings aims to develop character and manifest what truly rules our hearts. Tithes and offerings are used to advance the cause of God. But the purpose of returning tithes and offerings is the development of our character. So when we talk about faithfulness in church or to our children, we shouldn't just argue that God's cause needs resources and that the mission needs to advance and therefore we need to be faithful. We should, we should really emphasize how our hearts drift away from God when selfishness takes over and we are not faithful to Him. What we regularly give after any income or increase may not cause a significant impact on the mission of the church, but is undoubtedly revealing to ourselves and spiritual beings on both sides of the great controversy where our affections are. It is a transformative experience. As you, As you give, give your tithes and promise offerings, ask God for a new heart, full of affections placed on higher things, on eternal realities. May we put our desires last in God first.
quickly bow our heads in prayer, please. Mighty God, wonderful Heavenly Father, we are so grateful to you for the privilege that you are given to return your tithes and our free will offerings, Father in Heaven. Thank you, Father in Heaven, for initiating a process of character building, even in returning what you have given us, Father. And so as we bow our heads here, Father in heaven, we are grateful to you for what you have done and what you have given us, Father. And we pray, Father in heaven, as we return your tithes and our offerings, that you bless the hands that I have given, Father. We also pray uh, for those who couldn't give, Father in heaven. May you make sure that their needs are met, Father in heaven, and that their hearts are touched from what you have done for them, Father. May you give each one of us a, a freely giving heart and hand, Father in heaven. And may you richly bless us, Father in heaven, uh, that we are drawn to you and that we stay with you for eternity. Father, this is our prayer this morning for each one of us here, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. 
Have you felt the foe claiming you to be a sinner and not worthy of his grace? We stand here as a family to reaffirm you. We want you to look up and say, I am not my own. I belong to the Lord. I am the maker's masterpiece. made my heart and soul before I drew a breath I was loved and known I am his creation the maker's masterpiece and all that he designs will be done with me body it is a temple of the living God I worship in this house that his blood has bought as I bear his image oh may I not profane the holiness I hold in this earthly frame I belong to the Lord, oh, I am not my own. I belong to the Lord, I am not my own. I will honor Him for this I know. I belong to the Lord, I am not my own. And if he has redeemed me, I am not my own. The measure of my worth is his love alone. He declares my standing, and he declares my state. So I will know myself by the name he gave. I belong to the Lord, oh, I am not my own. I belong to the Lord, I am not my own. I will honor Him for this I know. I belong to the Lord, I am not my own. I 
belong to the Lord. I am not my own. Can we say amen to that again? I would like to invite the children to please come forward for our short children's time for you uh, today. That was the, uh, the last uh, three special items that we have. It is well with my soul. And we don't have time. Jesus is coming soon. And we belong to the Lord. We are not our own. All right, children, please come forward because Pastor Ben has a thought for you today. All right, are these all the children that we have today? Where are the other children? All right, all right, all right. Now, um, what is usually the first question that Pastor Ben would ask you? Well, how are you? Okay. <laughs> well, well, I said how are you already, but uh, you did not respond anyway. So I have another question for you today. I have another question for you today. What makes you happy? Anybody? Oh, from last Sabbath. You still remember the word from last Sabbath? Apostle Sam will be very happy. What's the word from last Sabbath? Consult. Wow. You remember? Consult. I hope your parents remember that word. Yeah. Your parents make you happy. Wow. Wow. That's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. Anybody else? What makes you happy? Uh, my brother. Your brother. Mm, mm. I think Mark has uh, something nice for you later. <laughs> yeah, Martin. Your sister. Whoa. Wow. That's lovely to know that what makes you happy is your family. Your parents. All right. Your siblings. Is there anybody else outside your family? Is there anything that makes you happy outside the family, Trina? Ice cream, yeah. 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 Not every day, not every day, okay. Yeah, yeah, it does make you happy. Ice cream, yep. Trina? Playing with your friends, absolutely, yeah. And you have your friends here in church, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Claudia, you have something else? God makes you happy. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for that. Definitely, definitely. Uh, the biggest reason that we are happy is God. Yep. Felix? My your baby brother, oh, what's the name of your baby brother again? Timba, wow. And we praise the Lord for Timba. And we are actually also happy as a church family. So we share with your happiness today. How about you, sweetie? What makes you happy? Your mom makes you happy, all right? Maybe we'll expand this a little bit. Uh, okay, you already said, uh, you know, your parents make you happy, your siblings make you happy. But have you thought about what makes them happy as well. Have you thought about that? You make them happy. All right, all right, all right. Have you thought about that? What, what makes Timba happy right now, Felix? Having milk? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, Trina. Mm. <laughs> what, what makes your parents happy? What do you think? Consult them, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this word is never going away. <laughs> yes, you're right, Ed. You need to consult your parents, all right? Yeah? What else? What else? What do you think? Yes. Huh? You, okay, okay, yeah. All right. Now, here's one last question about being happy. Have you thought about what makes God happy? Have you thought about Consult as well. Yeah, you have to consult God in prayer, Ed. <laughs> All right. Have you thought about that? What makes God happy? When you read the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what else? Much? When you pray? Absolutely, yeah. Claudia, again. Being kind to others? Absolutely, yeah. What makes God happy? Hmm? Reading the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Anybody else? Oh, have you thought about that? What makes God happy? Yeah, yeah. Console is never going away from Esmai now. Yeah? Yeah, what, what makes God happy? 
Now, by the way, by the way, when we say, when we ask the question, what makes God happy, does that mean that there are times when we make God sad? Other times we make God sad. What do you think? See, if we can make God happy, yes, we can make God happy, right? Because God is a person, by the way. A God has feelings as well, all right? So if we make God happy, we can make him happy. The things that we do, we make him sad sometimes, right? Yeah? But there is something that I would like to share with you. Although there are things that we do that can make God sad, but it does not mean that he's going to love us less. Did you hear that? Yes, there are times when God is sad because of what we do, Trina. But remember, God loves you all the time. Now, today is our commitment and dedication service for a church choir. Yeah. And we have so many special items already, and we have more special items that are coming. And I'm going to read to you some verses in the Bible about what makes God happy. Now, you've mentioned already a number of them, but I would like to share with you something else. Are you ready to listen from the Bible? What the Bible says... This is what the Bible says in Psalm 69, 30, and 31. David, this is written by David. You know David? King David? The psalmist David? He said, I will praise the name of God with a song. Did you hear that? Watch it. David said, I will praise God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. And then he added something. David said that these will please the Lord, or this will make the Lord happy, more than an ox or a bull. You know what is an ox or a bull in the time of David? They used the ox and a bull as a sacrifice. But David said that when I sing a song, and when I magnify God's name with thanksgiving, I make God happy. And today, I want you to remember that. When we thank the Lord in prayer, Cluda, all right? when we say praises to him, when we offer God our talents, whether it is in singing here or in reading the Bible or being nice and kind to others, we praise the Lord and we make him happy. And I want you to remember that, that even as young as you are, you can make God very happy. Happy. God bless everyone. Let us bow our heads for prayer. Let us pray. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving Father in heaven, thank you for all these children that we have. And as we think about what makes us happy, what makes people around us happy, I hope and pray that we can also ask this question, what makes you happy? And so, Father in heaven, thank you so much for reminding us that in our praise, in our thanksgiving, in our prayers, in our kindness to others, as we read your words, as we bring glory to your name, we make you happy. And I pray that these children will always have that thought in their minds, how can I make God happy today? For this we pray and we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. You may now return to your seats. Thank you.
Constrained to be 
let thy goodness like a fetter bind my wandering heart to thee prone to wander Lord I feel thee prone to Seal it, seal it for thy courts above. Here's my heart, oh, take and seal. On the program, it's written joy and friend, but it's not actually friend, it's friends. <laughs> or family, if you want.
Um, good, e good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to be singing a song called Refuge, um, which um, I wrote a while ago. It was originally just a poem, and then I kind of added some music to it. And it kind of just talks about, like, you know, the role God plays as a safe place for us and a refuge for us, which I think we've all experienced at some point in our lives. <clears throat> beating down and there in a safe place in town Jesus is my refuge tower in my heart in desperate hour when my fears would swallow me up Jesus Christ you fill my cup if I don't know where to go at least I'm sure that God you know Now it's time for our garden of prayer. Prayer in faith and in faith and answers will come. 
the lessons that god sends will always if well learned bring help in due time put your trust in god pray much and believe trusting hoping believing holding fast the hand of infinite power you will be more than conquerors this quote is by ellen g white now at this time if any one of you have any prayer requests or praises if you would like to share eloise have the microphone in her hand you can share we will keep it to the limit of 3 happy sabbath church uh, we just want to um share the joy and uh, thanks to the church um especially when we've been give, gifted with a beautiful baby itemba um we're just so thankful for your prayers and support during this time and we ask that god bless the church and each one of you as well thank you we have request from sister olga uh her mother in the hospital right now and she asked the church to pray for her because there is some serious like neurological problem so just maybe be a pro pray for her mother and also for the situation in ukraine because it's getting uh, more intense war right now and uh, there were some plans and just pray for all the situation for the peace in ukraine anybody else просить молиться за маленькую девочку Машу, которая находится в тяжёлом психологическом состоянии. Прошу церковь. Just yeah, ask to pray for Masha. She has some uh, mental issues and just okay. yeah, pray for her. At this time shall we all take a reverential posture and we will seek the Lord in prayer. A loving heavenly Father, our faithful God, we thank you Lord for giving us this opportunity to bow down in your presence to seek you Father in heaven. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord for blessing us with this beautiful day. Now at this time, Father, as we bring our supplications and place them at your feet, Father in heaven. We ask you to hear and answer them according to your will, Father. At this time, we ask you, Father, to search our hearts and show us our wicked ways and cleanse us, Lord, from all our unrighteousness. and cover us with the robe of righteousness of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you and we praise you for the new addition that Chico and Carolyn had in their family. We thank you Lord for baby Thembi that he is able to join in Cork Seventh Day Adventist Church, Father. What a joy and what a privilege it is for us to have this new baby, Father. May you be with the parents and may you be with us as church family at large that you give us wisdom and so that we would be an example for this little baby to grow in your mercy and in your grace father lord we pray for sister olga's mother as she is not well as she is in the hospital we pray that you be with her lord you are the great physician you give her the healing that she needs you give the wisdom and knowledge for the medical team as they look after her father we pray for marsha father she is not well heavenly father the mental health challenges that she is facing father in heaven you know it father in heaven keep the forces of darkness far away from her father may your healing hand touch her and give her the healing that she needs and at this time we ask you to be with all the choir members who are here as we lift up our voices and sing praises to you may 
your name alone be honored and glorified and lifted up and may you increase and may we decrease thank you lord for listening and answering to our prayers for we ask all these blessings in the wonderful name of our savior jesus christ amen
Кто сказал идти за Богом так легко? Кто сказал, что небо очень далеко? Как и прежде скорби мы встречаем, Испытания верой принимаем, Сохраняя сердцу веру глубоко. Кто сказал идти за Богом так легко? Кто сказал, что небо очень далеко? Испытания верой принимаем, Сохраняя в сердцу веру глубоко. И люди ищут ее тут, и ищут ее там Дорогу в небо по Спасителя Христа Если ты простил врага, к нему пришел Подал руку первым и простил без слов. Если видишь, нет обиды вовсе, Не осталось, если в сердце злости Ты дорогу верную нашел. Если снова боль и вдруг опять слеза, В испытаниях застилает там глаза. Если кажется твой путь напрасным, Обратись к кресту, он взор наш ясный, Он поднимет твою руку высоко. Дорога в небо через терни и шипы, Небо, Бог поможет нам найти, и люди ищут ее тут, и ищут ее там, дорогу в небо по спасителя следа. Right, we're almost at the end of our worship today, and the choir is about to sing, so don't go. 
Right. Uh, let, let me just uh, quickly put into perspective, biblical perspective, the uh, uh, worship and praise and this uh, commitment service that we have for a church choir uh, today. And let me share with you again the verses that I have uh, shared with our children. Uh, Psalm 69, verses 30 and 31. It says, I will praise the name of God with a what? With a song. And I will magnify him with thanksgiving. And then King David added, This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or a bull, which has horns and hooves. And I would like to make this statement to the church today that God is attracted to our songs of praise and to our expressions of thanksgiving. Amen? God is attracted to our songs of praise and to our expressions of a thanksgiving. They please him more than the costliest of a sacrifice. You know, in the Old Testament, uh, there is this uh, one of the sacrifices, uh, a voluntary sacrifice. And uh, the Bible uh, calls it a burnt offerings. Have you heard it? A burnt offering. It's, not, it's different from a sin offering, by the way, or from a, a peace offering. This one is a burnt offering, and you do a burnt offering as a voluntary act of worship to express your devotion to God. Now, here's the interesting part. The burnt offering could be a bull, as mentioned in these verses, or an ox, or it could be a bird or a dove, or it could be a ram without a blemish, depending on what you can afford. And the meat and the bones and the organs of the animal, they will be completely burned on the altar as God's portion, as a burnt offering. Now, an ox or a bull would have been considered as the most expensive burnt offering. And very few people in the Old Testament could afford it. And so this morning or today, in our reflection, as we think about the praise and worship that we have this morning, uh, friends, uh, brothers and sisters, aren't you glad that we don't need to offer such sacrifices anymore? Amen? Uh, we don't need a bull. We don't need an ox. We don't even need a dove or a ram. And that, our heartfelt songs of praise and humble thanksgiving are much a better than a sacrifice. And listen to this. Your song, your praise, is much better than a sacrifice of an ox or a bull, and that all of us today, everyone, could look to God and be glad. Now, I know some of you would say, Pastor Ben, I cannot be in the choir. Yeah? <laughs> I just don't want to be in the choir. I would mess up the choir, maybe. All right? But let me say this to the church. All of us can keep a song in our hearts. Amen? Amen? Because a song, and I want to highlight this. A song carries the truth of the gospel. You open our Adventist hymnal. You sing these songs. These songs, they carry the truth of the gospel. You don't need to be in the choir to keep a song in your heart. Amen? Amen? And as a church, I would encourage you, keep a song in your heart. And so today, as our church choir makes this commitment of praise, and as we dedicate them to the Lord, I hope and pray that all of us, not only the church choir, will have the confidence of the psalmist David to constantly say and declare, I will praise God with a song, and I will magnify him with thanksgiving. The Lord bless us today. I would like to invite the choir to sing to us the two songs that they have, and then after that, another song for our uh, closing hymn. Thank you.
Can you say amen to that? Amen. 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 Right. Um, we're now going to have the uh, commitment and dedicatory prayer. Uh, but I'm not going to pray for you unless you make a commitment to two appointments. Are you ready for your two appointments? You're not so happy for appointments coming. <laughs> a song uh, during the West of Ireland camp meeting in August, Pakistan, and another song uh, during the Irish Mission Day of Fellowship in September. So I'm going to send the dates, all right? Put that on your calendars. It's a commitment from the Cork Seventy Average Church Choir that you're going to sing in the West of Ireland camp meeting in August and also the Irish Mission Day of Fellowship in September. Would you say amen to that? Amen. All right, all right. Okay. A church choir, so all you have to say is we do, all right? And that includes you, Oksana, so please stand. <laughs> Join them. Church choir, do you recognize that music, either in a song or from an instrument, is one of the most beautiful gifts from God? And do you promise to commit this gift to bring a glory to his name and to him alone? Yes. Can you say we do? Yes. Thank you very much. A song or a hymn, it carries the truth of the gospel and the joy of salvation. And so do you as well as a choir make a commitment to make the best use of this gift? to edify the church, and to bring and to share the joy of salvation to others. Thank you uh, very much. I would like to invite the choir, as you are comfortable, to please kneel down with me as we seek the Lord in prayer. Our most gracious and loving Father in heaven, today we return to you all the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you that we have a God in heaven who made it appropriate and fitting to give us this gift of music, either in a song or in an instrument. And today, Lord, we have experienced the beauty, the joy, the glory of these songs and hymns that you have gifted us. And so this morning and today, Father in heaven, we bring to you this a church choir, the Cork Seventh-day Adventist Church Choir. And we commit them to you and we dedicate them to you as they have recognized that this a giftedness comes from you, as they have made a promise to use and make the best use of this giftedness to bring glory to your name, to edify the church and to share the joy of salvation to others. We commit them to you, and we dedicate them to you. Bless them, Lord. May their lives, outside of the songs that they sing, may their lives will also be songs of kindness and of love and of joy to others. Bless each one of them and every member of the family that they represent. May they will find all the support that they need. And thank you that in this choir we can continue to bring praise and glory to your name. In a very special way, we also would like to pray for Oksana. And thank you. We praise you that uh, she has accepted this uh, call, this invitation uh, to lead uh, this choir. Uh, thank you so much uh, for her ministry, uh, Father in Heaven. They have come uh, to Ireland, uh, her and her family, and our Ukrainian families that are here in this church. They have come to Ireland under difficult circumstances. But you have brought them here for a reason, a Father in heaven. And you brought them here to be a blessing to us as we can be a blessing uh, to them as well. So bless Oksana and the family. Continue to provide them all that they need. And this morning and today as I raise my hand in dedication, a Father in heaven, we entrust this church choir to you. And every song that they will sing, every appointment that they will have, let it be for the glory of your name and only to your name. For this we ask and we pray in the lovely name of Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. And I think the choir has something for Oksana. Before you will sing your last song, will serve as our closing uh, song today. Oksana, I think they have something for you. to invite the church to please stand for our uh, scripture benediction uh, today. And by the way, I did not see one boy. Let me acknowledge you as well. Thank you so much for playing the accompaniment for the choir. For our scripture benediction today, Colossians chapter 3 verses 16 and 17. Colossians chapter 3 verses 16 and 17. The church choir and the church today. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and in hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone, and thank you.
Let us sing, We Have This Hope, as we have our recessional. Thank you.